have another heatless curls tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you the results of using this octopus heatless hair curler. So I washed my hair about two or three hours ago and it is dry to the touch, slightly cool, so I would say about 95 to 98% fully dry. So I will dampen the ends slightly and I've just left it to air dry. And like with all of my other heatless curls tutorials, I'm not gonna use any products today. I prefer to show you the results of just using the curler alone. And for a change, I'm not gonna sleep in this one. I've decided I'm only gonna try it for around four to five hours and we'll see the result. That being said, in my opinion, heatless curls always comes out better when you sleep in it. And lastly, you can see I've put a roller in my fringe because I just don't think it would work well trying to incorporate it into this style of curler. So this is called an octopus hair curler because it has eight legs. It has a little clasp that keeps it together and it's slightly elasticated. So this part ordinarily would go at the back of your head, but I'm not gonna do that today. I will show you how I'm gonna use it. And they also have tiny elastics at the end of each of the legs so that once you've finished wrapping the hair, you can then use this to secure the ends, which is super handy. So to start with, I'm going to use my fingers to section off my crown area. So we're creating a circle from the back of where my fringe is rolled and meeting around the back just below where your crown is. I'm then just going to tie this into a small bun for the minute on the top of my head and we have two sections of hair. You can see I'm actually using this curler completely different to how everybody else is using it. The original use for this curler is that your hair is down and the curler would just pop over the top of your head and then you wrap the hair. But I want to create as much volume as possible so of course I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm actually going to place this curler back to front. Usually this clip would go at the back of your head, but instead I'm going to put it at the front and I'm going to secure it through the roller in my fringe. With this particular style of hair curler, I know that my fringe would just lack volume at the root and would be too curly at the ends because these curling legs aren't particularly thick. I'm going to take my continual mister, which is fantastic at adding a small amount of moisture to the hair because it's super fine. And I'm applying this to the mid lengths and the ends, again, just to give it a tiny amount of moisture so that it can take on the curl. I'm now going to let down the top half of my hair and just take it into two sections. So we have a parting down the centre and then I'm going to give that a little brush and then again mist the mid lengths and the ends. For me it's important not to be too damp because I'm only going to leave it in for a few hours. To make this easy to understand, if you take your four fingers and then pop those through your hair, these are the four sections we're going to be working with. So we have four sections for each of the four curler legs that we have on this side of our head. If you find that you get into a mess easily, you can section all four of these off into tiny little buns and use one at a time. I'm not going to, I just wanted to show you a quick way of sectioning this off quite evenly. So I'm gonna take a section from the top and a even section from the bottom. And then in the center, we have our fabric leg. Now, for some reason, I kept taking my top section under on the first wrap around when really I should have gone over the top, but it just seemed to feel more comfortable this way. But if you've seen my original Heatless Curls tutorials, you'll know that the technique is to wrap each section in opposite directions. So you'll see here, I'm now going to make sure they are going in opposite directions. So taking your first section, you're going to wrap it over the front of your rope tie, and then you're going to wrap it in a 360 motion. So you're going up and over, around the back, and back out where it started. So we're going up and over, round the back, and it comes back to where it started. Taking the opposite strand, you're then gonna go across the front, around the back, and comes back out where it started. So this isn't braiding where you swap the position of your strands. When you braid, your left section goes into your right hand, and then your right section goes into your left hand, and it forms the pattern of like wheat. You know how wheat looks? but this is not that technique. Each strand does a 360 loop around your octopus leg. It's exactly the same as my other heatless curls tutorials. So if you are familiar with those videos, then you will know this technique, no problem. Once you finish wrapping all of your hair to the very end, you can take the little elastic band and wrap it around. I would recommend doing it around three times because two times is quite loose. All of the other ones I do a little bit tighter. So we're going to repeat the same process. Because I have wrapped the top section around the back first, I'm gonna repeat exactly the same technique. So I wanted the curl pattern to be exactly the same at the top. So I do apologize in advance if that throws you off. So I've taken my second section of hair at the top and my second section of hair at the bottom and my second octopus leg. You want to start by wrapping the top section over the top and around the back 
don't do as I do, do as I say. Again, I'm just following the same pattern from the very first one that I did, which was a mistake at the very top. So just make sure that they're both coming over the top and crossing each other. So make sure that you do one strand at a time. So let's say your top one goes across the rope tie, around the back and comes back out where it started. You're then gonna take your bottom one and go over the top of the strand, around the back and back out where it started. So the right side's coming across the front, around the back and back out to the right. And then you're gonna do the same with the left. It will come across the front, around the back and then back out where it started. This method is super simple. It's so easy to understand, especially when you don't have to pick up any additional hair. I just hope I'm explaining it well because I am very aware that I've thrown you off with the very top. But I will link my previous Heatless Curls tutorials on the screen for you now because in those tutorials, it's much simpler to understand because I start with the bottom half of the hair, which is the exact same technique that we're using in this particular video. I'm now moving on to my third section. So I've segregated the last top section into two and pinned the back section away. And I'm gonna do the same with the bottom half of my hair. So again, I'm following the same curl pattern at the top. I'm wrapping around the front of the rope tie, around the back, make sure it comes back out where it started, and then taking the opposite side, coming across the front, around the back where it started. I'm gonna allow you to watch the process so you guys can fully understand what's going on and I'll come back when I've got some more to tell you. Okay, so I've done both sides and it should look something like this. What I am gonna do for the few hours that I am sitting around in these curlers, I'm going to just pin them up on the top of my head so they're not dangling around and getting in my face. So I'm using a clear elastic just to pop these on top of my head. This is also something you can do if you're deciding to sleep in them. They are very thin, I don't think they would get in the way. I'm a side sleeper so I'd want them out of my face but it's completely up to you. The curler itself is super soft, so it's very comfortable. So when you turn around, you should look a little bit like an iced gem. So I've sat in these for a few hours now. I'm gonna take them out, but again, I would definitely recommend sleeping in them. This is gonna give you a very soft finish. I was worried the curls would be too tight if I slept in them, and I was intrigued to see how they would come out after a few hours. I'm actually really, really pleasantly surprised. The benefit of sleeping in them is that the curls definitely look more defined and they don't look quite as fluffy when you kind of shake it out. So that's the only downside to not having slept in them. And the reason I didn't want to put the curler around the top of my head in the way that it's been designed to be worn is because I didn't want the top to feel too flat. I was worried it would weigh down the root of my hair, whereas sectioning it off meant I had a little bit more volume at the root. And as you can see, we've got a really nice kind of beautiful wavy curl, very soft. And considering we've not applied any product, because I know lots of you don't like to use product, you also feel like it's not a true representation of the curler with using products, I feel like the result is still really good. By the way, I don't think I mentioned this is the first time I've ever used it. I got it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to use it on camera for the first time. So this is my first impression of it as well. So this is the back, because I know lots of you want to see the back. It's bouncy, it's soft, it's very relaxed looking. I'm going to use a little bit of hair serum because I decided I felt like as it's quite soft, it's a little bit fluffy. This is completely optional, you don't have to do this, but if you want your curls to be a little bit more defined, feel free to use any hair serum. I'm using one by Matrix, it's just one that I have on the side. I wouldn't want you to judge the curler based on the product because this is something I'm using afterwards just to sort of take down some of that fluffiness because that is my hair. It's the way my hair is if I don't sleep in them or I don't use heat on it, my hair can get a little bit fluffier. So a serum, as you can see, just tames that and makes it look a bit more defined. I really like it. I love that my fringe is not super curly. I'm glad I went with a roller for a little bit of volume and instead of a ringlet curl. And for a few hours where I think the result is really, really good, I'd like to see this having slept in it, but I am worried it would be too ringly because the actual octopus legs aren't too thick and I like to sometimes double up my rope ties so that I don't have corkscrew curls. 
I'd love to know if you guys have tried the Octopus Heatless Curler. If you haven't and you're intrigued, I will link it in the description bar below. I got it off of Amazon. I think it was about £4.99. It was super cheap. Please give the tutorial a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Feel free to check out my other heatless curls tutorials. I have a few different versions, especially if you're a side sleeper because I have a completely different technique for you guys. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. My name is Shona Scott. I'm a makeup artist, but I also share hair techniques and the odd vlog. You can follow me outside of YouTube over on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a couple of days with another video. Bye guys.